Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Android app development for beginners. In the last video, I have shown you how you can use or work with action bar. And I have also shown you how you can add an icon to your action bar. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add some menu items with icons to your action bar. So first of all, we need to have some icons in order to add it to our app. So best way to find the icons to your action bar is to search on internet and just search for Android icon packs here on your favorite browser. And there is a website which is from Android itself, which is called developer.android.com slash design slash downloads. So click this uh, link here and you will reach to the Android website. So just click this material icon uh, button here and in here you will be able to see many items which you can use in your app. Okay. So for example, I want to add this info icon to my action bar menu. I can just select it. And I can choose whether I want the white background or black background. So because my uh, action bar has black background, so I can choose this white here. Okay, so it's going to look like this. And then I can select this PNG. So it's going to download this into a PNG file. So let's download it and we just need to save it. For example, I want the settings uh, icon from here. So I can just select it, use this white background and just click PNGs and it's going to uh, download it in the zip format. So once you have uh, saved your zip files, you can go to the location where you have saved them and you can extract these files. So I'm going to extract them at the same place and extract here. And once you extract them, you will be able to see uh, these three folders and I'm going to go inside this Android folder. And in here you can see uh, different resolution uh, PNG files. So drawable HDPI, drawable MDPI and other resolutions. But for now I'm going to just use this HDPI image, which is this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this image from here, copy and go to your Android Studio, go to your drawable, right click and paste it there. Okay, so right click and paste. And it's going to ask in which folder you want to paste it. I want to paste it in drawable HDPI. Okay, and just click OK. So it's going to add this picture here. If you want uh, to add other resolution, uh, you know, pictures to this drawable, just do it in the same manner. And now I'm going to go to my other folder, which was settings and Androids and drawable HDPI, right click and uh, copy from here and go to your Android Studio drawable, paste it here and inside this drawable minus HDPI and click OK. So it's going to add these two pictures in your drawable folder. So now we have our icons and we want to display them on our action bar. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a new menu. So let's click on this menu and right click on it. And we are going to create new menu resource file. And in here, you just need to give some name. For example, main underscore activity underscore menu. Okay. And click OK. And it's going to create this menu resource file. And inside this menu resource file, you can add some items to your menu. Okay. So first of all, uh, let's go to this main menu main dot XML, which was already present. And we just need to copy this line from here. So just copy this line and go to your new file, which you have created and then paste it here. Now, after adding, we go here 
and we are going to add some items here so item so let's add first of all the id to our item so i'm going to just write android and search for id and in here i can give some id to my icon for example i want to give some id to my info icon so i will just say info id okay and uh, once again you can add some more attributes for example title for your uh, item so and then you can add some icon to your menu item okay so android icon and go to drawable and inside drawable just search for ic info now after that we just need to add one more line which is android and show as action and here for now we are using never for now okay but i will show you uh, how you can use other options here once we run our app and instead of this android we just need to write app here so this is our menu resource file and we have one menu inside our menu and to see this menu what we need to do is we need to go to our main activity dot java file and we need to uh, overwrite this on create option menu so just write on create option menu and in here inside this on create option menu we just need to create uh, an object of menu inflator so just write menu inflator and the name of your object for example menu inflator is equal to get menu inflator okay and after this you just take this uh, menu inflator object from here and call an inflate method on it so inflate and what we want to inflate on it we want to inflate our main resource menu file so just call r dot menu dot main activity menu this is the file which we have created this one right and then as second argument just give this uh, menu object here which we are passing as an argument okay so now let's run our program and let's see if we are able to see our icon or not so run it and our app is running now and you can see this uh, overflow menu but you don't see the icon right and that's because we have added so let's go to our main activity menu.xml file here and if you remember in your show as action method we have added this never keyword here okay so this stops your icon to uh, show okay and it will show only your item but without your icon okay it will show only your overflow menu so if you change it to always like this and once again run your program now when you see here on the action bar you can see your info icon here now let's add one more item to our menu so i'm going to just copy this item tag here and i'm going to paste it just below this item and i just need to change the id here so this time i'm going to add setting icon so i'm going to name it as setting id okay and in the text i'm going to add settings and in here instead of this info icon i just want to add my settings icon so just give slash and then call ic settings so this is my settings icon which i have downloaded now when i run the program i can see here my both icons one is setting icon and other is info icon here now for example i want to add some action to my icons here okay so when i click this i want to do some action and when i click this i want to do some other actions how can i add some action listener to these icons so for that you just need to go to your main activity dot java file and in here just below your uh, on create option menu method what you need to do is you need to call this method called on option item selected okay so just call this method and in here we can add some action listener to these icons 
So for example, I'm going to add a switch statement here because I want to listen from multiple icons. So I will add this switch statement and in here as a condition, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this item dot get item ID. Okay. So whatever item is selected, I'm going to get the ID of the item. And in the cases, I'm going to evaluate that ID. Okay. So in the first case, I'm going to check R dot ID dot my first ID was this info, right? So I will just search for my info ID, which is this one. And if this ID is selected, then I want to just print that this ID is selected. So toast dot make text dot get application context and then the text for example info icon is selected and then toast dot length short and then show. In the same way I'm going to do the same for my second icon which is my settings icon. So instead of this info ID I'll just replace it by settings id settings id and instead of uh, this message i'm just going to give some other message for example setting icon is selected okay and as, as the default case what i'm going to do is i'm going to return this code which was already present okay so this is my code for listening to the item selection. So now I'm going to run this program once again. So now my app is running and when I click the settings icon, I can see setting icon is selected. And when I click this info icon, I can see info icon is selected. Okay. Now, if you don't want to see these two icons separately and you just want to see this overflow menu then what you need to do, you just need to go here in the main activity menu.xml file. And instead of this always, you just need never here. Okay, never and never. Okay, and when once again, when you run this program, you will see here, instead of your icons, you will see this overflow uh, icon and then you can select your menu items. Okay, so when, when you select info, info is printed. When you select setting, setting is printed. Okay. So it depends on you which uh, menu item you want to show. You want to show full icons or you want to show this overflow menu icon. So that's it for this video. Please wait, comment and subscribe and bye for now.